The border in Somalia, President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed Farmajo has suspended Prime Minister Mohamed Hussein Roble a day after the two leaders sparred over long-delayed elections in the troubled horn of African nation. President Farmajo says the decision to suspend Prime Minister Roble and halt his powers due to links with corruption. <laughs> The latest spat between the Somalia president and PM emanates from long-delayed elections. On Sunday, Roble accused the president of sabotaging the electoral process after Farmajo withdrew the prime minister's mandate to organize the elections and called for the creation of a new committee to correct the shortcomings. Roble then said that Farmajo did not want to hold a credible election in the country. Farmajo is in turn accusing Roble of an attempt to influence a probe into a scandal involving army-owned land after the premier sacked the defense minister and replaced him on Sunday. <music> Farmajo's statement accuses Roble of hounding the minister of defense to divert the investigations of the case relating to the grabbed public land. Somalia's elections have been hamstrung by delays for several months. In April, pro-government and opposition fighters opened fire in the streets of Mogadishu after Farmajo extended his term without holding fresh elections. The constitutional crisis was only diffused when Farmajo reversed the term extension and Roble brokered a timetable to a vote. But in the months that followed, a bitter rivalry between the men derailed the election again, alarming international observers. Farmajo and Roble only agreed to bury the hatchet in October and issued a unified call for the glacial election process to accelerate. Somalia has not held a one-man, one-vote election in 50 years, and its polls follow a complex indirect model. Elections for the upper house have concluded in all the states and voting for the lower house began in early November. But the appointment of a president still appears to be a long way off, straining ties with Western allies who want to see the process reach a peaceful conclusion. The United States says it is deeply concerned by the continuing delays and by the procedural irregularities that have undermined the credibility of the election.